Hi, I'm Paul Brigner, the North American Regional Bureau Director for the Internet Society. 2014 was a very important year for the Internet, the Internet Society, and the North American Bureau in particular. Over the course of the year, a new executive team was appointed at the Internet Society. Internet governance was discussed at some very important meetings, including the Net Mondial Initiative meeting in Brazil, the Internet Governance Forum meeting in Istanbul, the World Economic Forum meeting in Davos, and the International Telecommunications Union's plenipotentiary meeting in Busan, Korea. Very important topics were discussed, including privacy, cyber surveillance, security, the IANA transition, net neutrality, and many more. As 2014 comes to a close, it is a good time to review all of these activities, which ISOC covered closely throughout the year, and to prepare for 2015. So let's get started. I can't think of a better way to start this conversation than with some words from the Internet Society's new Chief Executive Officer, Kathy Brown, at the very beginning of 2014. Here she is. What I think is going to be the major issue as we go forward, and that is, who's in charge? It's a simple question. It's always the human question, who's in charge? We want users to be in charge. We want permissionless innovation on the Internet. We want the internet to do what it's always done. We want it to change, grow, be part of uh, the fabric of society that allows and empowers individuals to do individual things, to become part of community, uh, to be able to grow financially, to be productive. It is all of those things, and it is so many things that the notion that any one entity is centrally controlling all this is pretty absurd. Nevertheless, folks uh, in various quarters think, well, why not me? That video was captured on Kathy's first day on the job, and it demonstrates why she has been such an effective leader for the Internet Society. Since then, we have been hard at work, attending meetings and gathering together to discuss the path forward. I made it my personal mission in 2014 to live stream and record many of those discussions, which you can see on our live stream page. I hope you visit there soon and enjoy all of the events that were recorded. I have taken snippets from just a few of those events to summarize what happened in 2014. You will hear from science fiction author David Bren, ISOC founder and father of the internet, Vince Cerf, Laura Denardis of American University, Sally Wentworth of the Internet Society, and Manu Bajwa of the U.S. State Department. And finally, I'll be back to wrap up. So watch and enjoy. I think that communications, communications that empower people, that enable them to have some room to breathe with their ideas, this is one of the great glories of the Internet. I know some of the people who served on Al Gore's senatorial committee long ago when they passed, the United States Congress passed a bill that no one, the least cynical person alive, would have expected powerful men and women to do. And that's take something that was already turning into something of real value, the internet, and simply going, fly, fly, fly everywhere, fly everywhere. We're observing a tussle in cyberspace right now over control. There are governments that would like to keep the internet from being used in an open fashion. There are governments that are concerned that freedom of expression among their citizens uh, could uh, jeopardize the government's control of the country. Uh, and so they would like to uh, do everything they can to keep people from freely using the net. But the design and the administration of the internet has been, I would suggest, successful. In some ways we take this for granted, but we can't take this for granted. You know, what we're talking about is a very complex system, not only of technologies, but of institutions and entities, and um, should be very circumspect and um, careful about uh, proposed modifications to the system. I think the question for, for those of us in the internet community is, you know, how do we not lose sight of what, we were, what we're all trying to achieve here? A global interoperable network of networks that enables innovation, that enables connectivity, free expression, but that also recognizes um, the local context and the local challenge. 
and allows for that fluidity, that allows for, for people to move in and out of the ecosystem um, to affect it. And, and what's the policy environment in which that can happen? We are extremely pleased with the outcome of the recent plenipotentiary conference. Uh, it's worth uh, further discussion, but we feel uh, before the conference there was, of course, great concern uh, that it might somehow undermine the successful multi-stakeholder approach. However, instead, uh, we feel very strongly that the conference resulted in a clear affirmation of the existing multi-stakeholder internet governance model, and we feel like we have a lot of momentum now as we head into next year. What a year it has been. 2014 started with a massive challenge, but thankfully ended on a positive note for the multi-stakeholder system. I would be remiss if I didn't also cover some of the activities of chapters in the North American region for 2014. I saw Canada started the year in launch mode, but they worked hard to get organized throughout the year and I'm happy to report that they are now fully operational and ready to kick off new initiatives for the new year. ISOC DC held a variety of meetings on policy issues throughout the year. Likewise, ISOC New York held meetings by themselves, but they continued to build on the strong tradition of working with other organizations to live stream those events. ISOC Colorado held its first annual software defined networking event. It was a great success and they're working hard to blaze the future of the internet. And finally, ISOC San Francisco Bay held some very interesting meetings on cybersecurity and surveillance. And they even launched a new chapter, the Interplanetary Networking Chapter. I can't describe all of the great activities of our chapters in this short video, and I certainly can't tell the whole story of 2014. But if you want to learn more, you know where to go. Visit our live stream page or go to internetsociety.org. I'd like to ask one thing of you for the new year. I hope you make it your New Year's resolution to either get involved with the Internet Society if you're not, or if you are, I hope you can even do more. The challenges for 2015 are going to be just as great and likely even greater than what we've seen this year. I'll finish this video with a few words from one of the events of 2014. They warmed my heart and they're going to give me the motivation to work even harder in the new year. So here's to 2015. Once again, we can't do this without um, all of the wonderful sponsors. Special shout out to the digital engagement team with World Bank. And also um, the amazing, amazing, fabulous job uh, ISOC, the uh, Internet Society, is doing with videography and live streams. So I just want to say thank you so much for all of the wonderful, wonderful work. <laughs>